All right, hello everyone, 8th of June. Let's take a look at the market. I've got gold in front of me, and in this video, we're going to do gold, euro, dollar, Dow Jones, and Bitcoin as usual. Now, as you can see, we're still in this zone here on the weekly, on the daily, sorry. Um, what we have here today on the buy level is 42. So that's like 1833. And 1833 is down here. This is what I marked in before as well. I'm still going to keep this. 1833 on the daily as a price that's 1839 1839 we'll mark that in as well all right so it's 1839 on the price as you can see here right and it's 1833 on the PST here and I prefer always the PST mind you the price also works well but there's a bit of a gap here you see that I'd like to have it filled out so if gold does pull back, I would like to go long. Now remember, on gold I mentioned for the elite group, the swing days on Monday as well. And the swing days were Tuesday, and there's another day. So this is Tuesday. So this is very much possible that we're going to have this swing here happening. Right? If the market pulls back, into 1839 go for it you know still look for a buy opportunity if it matches your astrological hours okay uh, and if it comes down here definitely go for a long all right definitely going for a long uh with astrological hours as well now we are on the weekly period yesterday i said this zone here was going to be resistance as you can see that's pretty much on the line there this white line here as you can see right Okay, pretty much there. We're pretty much on the line there. So let me just get rid of this line as well. Okay, and this zone I said is a choppy zone. Why? Because we're in between the high and the low here. And this is why it's choppy. And yesterday I also noted at the astrological hours that expect a bit of choppy moves here. And I noted the hours as well. So that also became very choppy. So basically, you know, stay out of the choppy zone, let it come down in order to be bought, okay? That's the best way to go. Um, at the top, we still got room to go for the 1886, and this is going to be important for you. If it does come up to 1886, this will be a strong place for the market to return. So if you wanna go long, it's doable also it's on the daily pivot as well so mm, you know not such a bad spot to get in if it matches your astrological hours if you learned astrology from me and if you mark that in as an astrological hour which is not at the moment it's it will be soon though so from these low levels here if it's an astrological hour i think it might be uh, worth taking a shot and going long with it as well all right so let me just draw this white line here if the market is around here at astrological hours you might want to push up with it let's take a look at the euro dollar okay it's a new day let's start with the daily now with the euro dollar i did say you should sell if the market pulls up okay if you sold when the market pulled up to the weekly daily this was the way the daily was yesterday well done Okay, because we were expecting that. If you recall, if you've got your astrological hours with you, um, if you recall, these are astrological hours there. That's at five o'clock there. And plus also this one is 22, right? So 10 o'clock was also there. As you can see, well up there. And then the market is pushing down. So that's nice to see. Um, with the euro dollar, are we going to push further down? Where I am expecting a bit of a push down, right? Impulse wave. If this is going to go up, we should have an ABC down. So a bit more push down uh, into next week wouldn't be such a bad idea. All right, so pushing the market down a little bit more is what's on the cards. Now look at this here, HCL1. That's 1.0576. 1.0, oh, 1.0576 is down here. So this is, well, let's make it 0580. Oh, all right so that's there this is obviously going to be a level for us here let's be a little conservative also yesterday i said don't sell from around here let it go up and then sell and that's where it went up to so nice also if you bought 
at the astrological hour um, you would have been okay um, and that's it just follow it through keep your stop loss really just above that daily and the weekly and that should be fine the daily pivot today is here mind you let's just refresh our chart so that the daily pivot gets settled in right there okay so once again that's how it is so I want to push down a little bit and see how that goes okay on the weekly as well I want to come down a little bit with this retracement okay let's take a look at the US 30 very nice move up during astro hours now you'll recall that this is six o'clock here as you can see all right that's six o'clock and that's your five o'clock there all right so five o'clock actually we had 518 which was down here and it just kept pushing upwards if you remember okay so astro hours from yesterday were 548 that's right 548 no that's is that seventh yeah it is seventh so we had that 336 548 and that's two o'clock three o'clock as you can see right three four five and 548 up there now so if you took that that's nice if you sold over here okay it didn't go down too well okay as you can see here just from there slight bit of down move only a few points and then broke up so a bit choppy if you sold over here you would have been stopped at about here tight little stop loss would have been okay if you bought at the bottom obviously you were in uh, at a better chance okay but as you can see we've got flag formation here this is still an impulse wave still market possibility to push down into this zone all right so to close this little gap here if it does come back down here that might actually push down even a bit more into this zone as you can see all right so selling is still a better option after this impulse wave to come down a little bit more what would we do here um we'll have to oh god it's that choppy zone um daily hcl1 32425 32425 is there all right so we've got levels down here okay on that's the daily right on there so if the market pulls back into this zone will be buyers what if it breaks out that's a question we'll cross that bridge when we come to it okay because your first target is very close it's this 57 and then you got the 58 which is 33 282 33 282 So we could go up as well and this will also be a sell and it shouldn't surprise you there okay the market crashing down from here is also as at yesterday and the day before that's your zone as you can see right so we've got break of structure here market goes up sells from this location so we'd like to push down if we're at here or here at astrological hours it's okay to push down i'd use smaller lot sizes like i said you're in between levels let's take a look at bitcoin bitcoin um yesterday i did say we we're looking for buys and just above our level mind you this was this was right on a pst and i don't know why i didn't mark that if you're using the ATM strategy and you jumped on that, you would have been good. 29,340, all right, which is right there basically yesterday, 
okay this was an astrological hour yesterday so if you jumped in there you go two o'clock three o'clock four o'clock and five o'clock so you can see how bang all of a sudden the market just shot up okay now remember on cryptocurrencies on pullbacks we're buying so any any pullback you're okay to buy we've got targets up there we're looking to go long with cryptocurrencies and i think yesterday was important and buying low is not a bad idea all right bitcoin stabilizing around the 30 29 28 you know just around the 30,000 zone i think it's a good zone to buy and this goes for altcoins as well if you're a part of the crypto investor team look at the reports the we issue because those um, cryptocurrencies are also good projects to stick your head into all right so what to do with bitcoin buy on pullbacks okay buy on pullbacks and yesterday was a good one and i did talk about it all right so that's it